Good afternoon. Welcome to Social Studies for March 9th, 2017. Um, as you've probably figured out by now, I can't be there with you today. I am at Heritage though, so if anything goes wrong, I can be over in 15 minutes. Um, but today, we're going to keep going with women's rights, more so focusing today on connecting them with modern day. So today, we're going to focus on our objectives, which are to compare figures from the women's rights movement with present day women's rights advocates. Um, you're going to research a present day advocate for women's rights and eventually write a verse, which for most of us will look like a rap about a current women's rights advocate in rhyme. So we're going to be doing some rhyming. Okay, so let's get started with what we need to do today. I'm going to go over it pretty briefly and show you everything. That's why I wanted to make a screencast because there's so many cool things that um, are available on this vocabulary website. Um, but first of all is the video. You're going to watch this video called We Won't Stop. It's right here. You know, obviously press the play button when you're ready. But one of the really cool things is if you click on lyric notes right in this area here, after you watch it once and you get to actually watch the video, you click lyric notes and it'll play for you. But underneath it, you have little links that you can click on. So the woman says, huh, men, men, men. You click on that and it'll show you a picture. And if you go a little bit lower, the chauvinist says, tie, a tie. We're going to talk about this little declaration. Click on that. And it actually tells you, how did the French American revolutions inspire the fight for women's rights? So you're getting to know more about women's rights than just this song has. Uh, but what about the women? You know, turn the butter, make the clothes. So the battles of the revolution. So you get to learn more about the people, Mary Walsencraft and Elizabeth Stanton, um, bringing up Seneca Falls, which we just talked about in class uh, but that's really super cool and I wanted you guys to see that so you're not completely lost with some of the references that the song is making. And once you've done that a couple times and you got the people down um, from the original women's rights movement there's two other videos here you have May 30th 2014 and an October 17th so this first lady is Maya Angelou and the second one is Malala, which many, many of you may have read about already. Um, I want you to watch each of them. And it's going to be the same thing. It's going to give you the video, and then you go to the lyric notes, and, you know, do the same thing. What you really want to get out of this now is you want to start comparing the past activists to the current ones. So that's what we're looking for here, is making that connection from the past to the present. So you have those two videos to watch. All right, now moving on to the last step, the creation of your rap. So I want you to pick a current day activist. This could be Maya Angelou, this could be Malala, this could be um, Michelle Obama, this could be Emma Watson. This could be a relative that is passionate about the women's rights movement um, that you'd like to write a rap to. So you're going to pick um, the third website, Write Your Own Rhymes. It's third or it's titled Write Your Own Rhymes. Um, the introduction guides you through different kinds of ways to write raps and um, and things like that. But what you want to start with, it gives you really cool things. I love this website. It starts you with beats. So you get to pick a beat. You can pick A sharp, a ballad. You click on it and then it gives you, well that one gave you kind of like an organ. And now my daughter's trying to sing along in the background. Um, but let me turn this down a little bit. Um, don't mess with the dragon. So it gives you a real beat that you'd be writing a rap to. Um, and then you go to the basics. Once you've picked a beat, choose a topic, teach the concepts, model. So like, you know, how you want to go about it. 
memorization. Figurative language is a really, really good one. If you want to um, put any of that in your, your writing, you can also tell a story, um, list the important facts. This has really, really great resources to writing. So if you go to hip hop songwriting, this one takes you to the beats again. So 50 original beats here. Keep things simple, add hooks and verses, so repetition, um, things like that. So just keep in mind that um, I want your rap due when you come to school on Tuesday, meaning you need to either record yourself or record somebody with or without the beat um, performing it about a current day women's rights activist. Um, so if you haven't written your speech yet, obviously you're going to be a little bit behind. Then you owe me two recordings, a speech and a rap. So get on it. Use your time wisely in class today. Um, I have faith in you. You will do amazing things. And good luck. And get me some good rhymes. See you on Tuesday.